From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Sports on the Band for Sunday, June 24th. I'm Mike Ludlum. An Upper Peninsula native is relocating to the West Coast. Hancock's Tanner Carroll was traded by the Chicago Blackhawks yesterday to the Vancouver Canucks for another center, Michael Chappie. The 25-year-old Carroll split the season between the Blackhawks and the American Hockey League's Rockford Ice Hogs. He had a goal and two assists in eight games with Chicago and eight goals and 12 helpers in 36 games with Rockford. The six foot, 185 pound center has appeared in 72 career NHL games. Carroll, of course, played four very successful seasons at Michigan Tech, 153 games, 55 goals, and 56 assists. The 26 year old Chappie was scoreless in nine games with Vancouver last season. The Montreal native has six goals and 11 assists through 135 career NHL games between Columbus and Vancouver. The final round of the Island Resort Golf Championship was challenging for the players at the Sweetgrass Course in Harris. In fact, only seven golfers were able to shoot in the 60s. Let's go to hole number three, a par three. Second round leader Suchia Chang of Chinese Taipei would find the right contour on the green and the ball would roll in pretty good shape, but the tough location of the pin made it really hard to get a birdie, so we moved over to the seventh hole, also a par three. Last year's runner-up, Ruxin Liu of Dalian, China, on the tee. Hard to judge how far to hit the ball because of the winds, about 150 yards, but he had to hit it a little bit harder. Nice job there within about 10 feet, and she confidently rolled in the birdie putt to go eight under par. She was around the leaderboard, for quite a while. Oh, and daddy is the caddy, so once you succeed, you get nux. To the Island Green, again, number 15, Jenny Coleman's day was pretty much ended here when she couldn't get out of the water and had to take a drop. She had a triple bogey and finished at two under par. Fatima Fernandez Cano of Santiago de Compostela, Spain, rolled in one of the few birdies on 15. She ended in a six-way tie for ninth at six under par 210. To the par 518, South Korea's Min Seo Kwok had a chance to go nine under and could not do it. So she would tap in and finish at eight under par 208 and waited to see if that score would hold up. Lori Beth Adams, Burlington, North Carolina, also had a chance to go nine under. Major disappointment, the ball would not go in and she ended eight under par as well. Second round leader Suchia Chang had the final chance to tie Liu, but she couldn't hit her third shot toward the pin. That's how bad her lie was. So she had to go away from the hole and she could not sink the following chip, allowing Ruxin Liu to win by one shot. Liu was in pain over the last five holes. I feel pretty comfortable before hole number 14, but after that I get a little nervous because um, it was a tie lead and then also um, because the injury that really bothers me a lot. Hole number 14 was uh, reachable, so I tried to hit it really hard with the driver, but my right foot slipped, so I kind of like twist my back a little and I pull that shot really bad. Alex coming down and put some cream on and then do some stretch and crack, it helps, it helps a lot and I have to thank him for that. $26,250 first prize. Let's go to the scoreboard where Lou held off Quack and Adams. Natalie Sherry of New Brunton, Connecticut, she was in a group by herself. She teed off at 7.30 yesterday morning, had the best score of the day, a 6 under 66 to tie for fourth place, along with Christy McPherson, sponsors exemption Casey Danielson of Osceola, Wisconsin, Marianne Ricordu of France, and Suchia Chang of Chinese Taipei. Six others tied for ninth place at 6 under par, 2.10. Back to the Greg Johnson Memorial American Legion Baseball Tournament, Gladstone Indians, Midland, Berry Hill. And that's Jeff Allen for Berry Hill going deep. And yep, that one's gone. And a 2 nothing lead. The Indians would come back. Zach Hansen isn't going to get a lot of this one, but he's going to get enough of it to keep it out of the reach of the fielders. Caden Allwarden and Cole Hansen score, and that knotted the game at 2. Move to the fourth inning, Derek Boer will hit this one to left field. Two runs score on the play. The Indians 
had a chance to rally but could not get it done. Midland Berry Hill won this semifinal by the score of 6 to 4. The other semifinal was in Escanaba, and it was between the Eastern UP Travelers and the Pier. The Pier had a two run lead. Travelers had something brewing, but uh, the pickle is not good. Mike Radel was not happy with himself for that. Then a tricky ending. Avery Tenike will hit into the six, four, three. Uh, eh, eh, was he out? Double play. The umpire said he was. Uh, Tenike went nuts. The fans went worse, but somehow uh, they won that game eight to six. De Pere would actually win the final over Berry Hill. 10 to 4. So the Pier goes home with the first place trophy. Not a good day in Major League Baseball for the Tigers nor the Brewers. Cleveland 12, Detroit 2, and it was the Cardinals over the Brewers 8 2.